Thanks for all coming to the unveiling of my latest invention. I... Yeah, yeah, Space Monkey. Wasn't there something about free food? It's on the table in the back of the room, Ducky. Anyway, throughout history, time has been a mystery that... Just tell us what you made so we can eat. Well, Frank, I made this. It looks like a car. Harvey's right. That's a car. And people already invented cars, like 20 years ago. No, Sarah, it's not just a car. It's a time machine. I, Space Monkey, have conquered time. And I've used a DeLorean as my time-traveling vehicle. It's inspired by one of my favorite movies. The Wacky DeLorean Racing Adventure. Wow, it's stainless steel. And it travels through time. And its doors slide open upwards. And it travels through time. And it has a horn. I call her the Temporal Lee. So how does it work? You just set what time you want to travel to and get the car speed up to 88 miles an hour. You can't legally go that speed on most American highways. Your invention is impractical, and hey, are there any kosher pickles on the snack table? Wait, Lawrence, I think it's okay to break the laws of man if it's also to break the laws of nature. And think about it, we could travel forward in time to find out the winning lottery numbers for tomorrow. Nah, with the cost of gas these days and the DeLorean's gas mileage, that wouldn't even be profitable. Then we should use my invention for something grander than profit. We could use Space Monkey's invention to go back in time and kill his grandfather. That would create a paradox and destroy the universe. Cool. Destroying the universe would so piss off those hippies at Greenpeace. Yeah! But I love my papa, and I sort of like the universe. At least the southern part of it. Hey, Frank has been uncharacteristically quiet. Yeah. Nice, huh? I was just thinking of my early childhood. The trauma that scars me to this day. Do you all know how I hate monkeys? Yeah, you mention it all the time. And And it's it's getting getting old. You see, I hate monkeys because when I was a child, I was bitten by a monkey. No one believed me. But at that moment, I saw true evil in that monkey's eyes. Since then, I have vowed to destroy all monkey kind. I realize now it's been a futile battle. And all I wish is to go back in time and spare my younger self that trauma. Why would we help you? You're mean to us. If anything, we'd like to cause you more trauma. But maybe by helping younger Frank, present Frank will be a nicer person. And then he might finally pay us. Well then, let's save poor little Frankie from that evil monkey. So where and when are we going? To Alaska. 1983. So how exactly are we going to fit in that car? Are you calling me fat? I am A-O. You're listening to the IMAO Podcast with Frank J. But sweetie, I'm a Republican. Sarah K. Hello, men. Harvey. Frank, that'll be way too obvious. We'll never get the insurance money. Space Monkey. Oh, crap. Right Wing Duck. This guy's a few oranges short of a full sack. Kevin. I thought he pulled it off. It was sexy but dignified. And Lawrence Simon. Oh, look at that guy. He looks real sharp in that purple suit. This week's special guest, Nathan of Homocon.com. Wow, that was wild. If I could go back in time, I'd tell myself that flared corduroys are never cool, polyester shirts are always uncomfortable, and feathered hair is something a person will eternally regret, especially as the internet comes of age and bad-tempered people post really horrible yearbook photos online. If I could go back in time, I'd buy myself a guitar when I'm eight years old and force myself to practice it every day. I'd recommend that I spend a lot less money on 80s vinyl remixes, and I'd definitely support the notion of stocking up on Star Wars action figures. But only if I promise to leave them unopened in their original boxes in the attic for 20 years. If I could go back in time, I'd enroll myself in military school, because a man always looks better in uniform. I'd learn how to fly the fastest fighter jets, become the first openly gay astronaut, and rocket up into space so that I can see the world from an entirely different angle. Hopefully an angle that doesn't...
doesn't have Jihad written all over it. If I could go back in time, I'd make sure that I'd traveled the world before I went to college. I'd wait to have sex until I met my boyfriend. And I'd invent the triple caramel mocha java frappuccino. And I'd get a patent on it. I'd also sternly forbid myself from ever viewing milk crates and cable spools as acceptable pieces of furniture. If I could go back in time, I'd move to California when I'm only 16. I'd buy a beat-up Land Rover, I'd learn how to surf, and I'd spend my spare time hanging out at Muscle Beach and playing guitar on the sidewalks for change in between reading IBM manuals, gaming the stock market, and investing in stupidly cheap Malibu property. If I could go back in time... Here we are, Anchorage, Alaska, 1983. So Frank, how exactly did you get bitten by a monkey here? It was an Alaskan snow monkey. No one believed me. Probably because you made it up. Can we get to showing Frankie and Madsen the whole monkey thing? Oh yeah, I'm freezing my tuchus off and I think there are commies hiding in the snow. There's my old house. There I am. And my older brother and little sister. Aw, weren't we cute? No. Hi, I'm Frankie. Will you all be my friends? No. Now go to bed. Ignore him, young one. He's a Jew. Now, Frankie, I'm here to save you from the snow monkey. The monkey? I saw it, but no one believed me. I believe you. Now there is something I must do. And I must do it alone. Good. Last work for us. I know you're out there, monkey. Now... You die! It worked. I no longer hate monkeys. Aw, look at the poor dead monkey. Yay, you killed something. Now let's get out of here. I want to go prove to you that I didn't kill Jesus. And I want to travel back to the beginning of time and prove to you all that God doesn't exist. Wait, if Jesus didn't exist, how did I kill him? First, we have to go back to the present to refuel. Here we are, back to the present, and... Uh-oh. Ay, Dios mío. It can't be. The world, it's overrun by monkeys. Hi there, I'm your friend, Lawrence Simon. And it's time for another crappy bedtime story. Ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a froggy wizard who invented a time machine. So he stepped into the time machine and... Hi there, I'm your friend... Um, Lawrence Simon. And it's time for another crappy bedtime story. Ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a froggy wizard who invented a time machine. So he stepped into the time machine and... Yeah. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I, I've done this before, haven't I? I mean, I say, I'm your friend Lawrence Simon, and it's time for another crappy bedtime story, and yada yada yada, the wizard steps into the time machine, and... <laughs> Hold on, I, I think I'm trapped in some sort of time loop. Y you kids go on to bed, I'll, I'll try to figure out what the deal is with this, this wizard and his time machine. Run by monkeys. What a horrible future we've created. Prez, whatever. And what do you mean by we, pale face? You're the one that shot that monkey and caused the world to be somehow overrun with monkeys. Okay, look, 
I know this doesn't make any sense, but obviously I did something in the past that- Hey, the monkeys are peeling Lawrence Simon like a huge banana! I knew I shouldn't have worn this yellow shirt! Now there's something you don't see every day. I would like to go on record as embracing the rule of our new monkey overlords. That's just because you like bananas. Well, I can't eat bananas all day. They're full of potassium, and that gives me migraines. I'm talking banana-splitting headaches. We'll have to use the time machine to set things right again. By going back in time and killing Space Monkey's grandfather. You leave my papa alone. No. We must go back and stop me from killing that Alaskan snow monkey. I know you're out there. Stop! What am I doing here? You're here to stop you from killing that monkey. Oh yeah? I'd like to see me try. Fool. Do I really think I can intimidate me? I just watched a hundred screaming monkeys peel a Jew just like a banana. Looks like I'm gonna have to kick my own- Yep, that's my man. You're a lucky girl, Sarah. Yeah. Your mom must be so proud. Hi, I'm Lord Simon of the past. What exactly did future Frank mean when he said he saw monkeys peeling a Jew like a banana? Hey, Lawrence of the past. How about coming back with us in the Temporal Lee? Uh, wouldn't that cause some kind of space-time continuum paradox? Well, not as much as you'd think. Nice yellow shirt. Hey, thanks! Ow, that monkey bit me. I found this day to destroy all monkey kind. My monkey hatred has returned. I guess I can stop beating me up now. If that's what you want to call that sissy slap fight you were having with yourself. I think we learned a valuable lesson today. Never let Frank drive the time machine? No! That a self-centered and psychotic Frank is better than a world full of murderous monkeys. You know, this has to be our most pointless and idiotic adventure yet. Pointless and idiotic is what IMAO is all about. Now, let's travel back to the future. Present. Whatever. Yee-haw!